everyone! So this video is going to be a review on the e.l.f. blending sponge. This is just going to be a first impression plus a demo on this. So if you guys are interested in seeing my thoughts on it, just keep watching. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up for the first time. Upon getting it out, this is what it looks like. Definitely has a much different shape than a lot of the other ones. I think I've seen this shape on the market before, not from e.l.f., but from another company. So I don't know, it's okay. It's not something that I hate or love, but I'm interested to see what this looks like wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and dampen this sponge. So upon dampening it, it is so much bigger than it was before. I don't think you'll be able to tell on camera, but it is so much bigger than it was before, which I did not expect. I did not think it was going to grow into like a normal size beauty blender. I have my real techniques. This is it small. And so that just kind of shows you this is it small and this is it after it's been wet. It's very dense. It's much harder. It, this feels when it's wet the same denseness that you feel in beauty blenders when it's dry. And if you guys notice, uh, beauty blenders are definitely a lot harder when they're dry. So this still has that same hardness. When I first rinsed it out too, there seemed to be a lot of bubbles or something coming out. I don't think there's product in it. I don't think there's any like cleaning product, but I was very confused why there were bubbles in it. So um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and test this bad boy out. I'm going to use my favorite foundation at the moment. This is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation. I have been using this for a couple weeks now and it is by far my Holy Grail foundation. I'm so in love with it. Normally I apply it with just my fingers. I think it's a way better application than a beauty blender. So I'm kind of nervous to see how I feel about it with this beauty blender from e.l.f., but we shall see. So I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand and go to town. So it says to use the flat side for like all of your face. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I do like how the grip is. I feel like I can hold it a lot better than like the other beauty blenders I've used. I've used the Real Beauty Blender, I've used the Sony Cash's Beauty Blender, and I've also used the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. And I always buy the Real Techniques because I feel like it's very comparable to the Real Beauty Blender. Upon using this, I can tell it is, oh, it, because it's so much denser, it doesn't really give a balance. It's more of like a, a pounding feeling. I don't so much mind that. I know a lot of people like the feeling of the beauty blender when it's like bouncy. I don't so much hate this. It's not quite as relaxing as like a beauty blender where you just kind of bounce off. So it says to use the pointed end for in here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I do actually like the way that this applied. I think using my fingers applies better but I think this applied this exactly how it should have. I feel like it really put it on my face how it should. I feel like it blended it out great. On this side, I feel like this side looks way better. I feel like on this side, I put a little too much product. I definitely think it worked really well at putting on my foundation. You can tell, it definitely looks really good. So I give it for that. It's definitely not as bouncy or as soft as a beauty blender or the real techniques, but it does apply pretty well. I'm gonna go in with the next product I've been using a ton. This is my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer and Corrector. And I'll see how it applies concealer under the eyes. So I'm gonna use the pointy side and see how this does. a decent job. I feel like it kind of takes away too much product. Like I know a lot of people like it because you can't overuse product like for the beauty blender, but I feel like this one takes away too much from you. I feel like a lot of it is on the sponge rather than on my face, especially with the concealer. I don't feel like it set it. I feel like it kind of wiped it because I still feel like I have really dark circles. On camera, it doesn't look that bad, but in person, it's not the greatest. When you use your finger, I feel like it leaves the corrector part there because it's not taken away. So this eye definitely looks a lot better than this eye from using my finger. So for concealer, I will not say that this is very good for concealer. I feel like it kind of takes it away. Not gonna lie though, the more I look at my face, the more I really like the way it looks. However, I wish I would have made one side like with my hand and then the other side with the beauty blender, but I was worried I'd waste way too much product doing that. Yeah, see, just going over what I already placed down, going over it, I feel like it took away a lot of my concealer. It definitely takes away concealer. It does not favor leaving concealer on your face. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and then I will come back to you with like my overall review. So if I had to give an overall thought on this, I'm very impressed on how big it expands. I was not expecting that. However, it's just a little bit too dense. It's a little bit too hard. I was kind of hoping that this would transform everything and it was just going to be the best thing, but it's a 
really good price tag if you're starting out with beauty sponges this is really good if you're really wanting to concentrate a product on a certain spot in your face it's really good for that but overall this is not just a game changer for me I I'm not a huge 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 fan of it I think it's great for maybe beginners or even someone who can't afford the other beauty sponges this is a really good price tag if this is your first beauty sponge you've ever used just know that the real beauty sponge is totally better than this and it just a completely different experience. Overall, if I had to rate this out of five, I'd probably give it 2.5 stars. It's really not my favorite. It's not something I would ever purchase again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I'm doing three different videos right now. So you guys are gonna see me looking the same in three different videos. So make sure you guys check out my other videos. Once those are uploaded, I'll go ahead and leave links in my description bar. Make sure you also check my description bar for all of my social media channels. I love to stay up to date with you guys and hear from you guys. And I love just interacting. So make sure you guys follow my other social media channels and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Take care everyone.